The TJX project is critical to Lordstown. That's a, according to a group of neighbors who did a lot of research and tonight they presented it. It's critical, they say, but not where TJX wants to build it. More details on the alternate proposals and could they work? The rezoning of the residential property is not necessary. Kathy Dixon represents the group that calls itself Lordstown Concerned Residents for the Right Project on the Right Property. The group wants the project to happen. We need the jobs. Just not where TJX wants to put it. That are for sale that would suit their needs and would not require rezoning of any residential properties to industrial. The proposed site on Halleck Young and Ellsworth Bailey Roads is zoned for residential. She presented her study, four alternative build sites that are for sale and she says meet TJX requirements. Plus, they're zoned industrial. The neighbors at the meeting and her group don't want any property near them rezoned from residential to industrial because of effects on existing neighborhoods. Diesel exhaust emissions has particulate matter. I built that house 47 years ago as a single mother and it's very, very precious to me and the third generation. A handful spoke, then it was Mayor Arno Hill's turn. But the purpose of the Planning Commission sometimes can be to consider changes. And sometimes you have to keep up with the times. Despite what neighbors on this road want, the mayor says the village has to look out for a greater good and what's best for everyone. And finally, the answer to the question you've probably been wondering, doesn't TJX already know about these alternative sites? They did tell me today they have reviewed all the other sites. TJX submitted a zoning change request today. It'll be heard at the Planning Commission meeting one week from today, the 25th. Neighbors and leaders expect to learn more from TJX on the plans for the Home Goods Distribution Center next week.